And this is part number dos, where we are going to battle Joe Biden versus Andrew Yang uh, in a epic, epic showdown on Twitter. And that's what's coming up next. If you want to see the first part of this, where we talk about some uh, search volume on Google and search volume on YouTube and talk about some of the statistics around that versus these two candidates, then click on the channel and watch the video right before this one was uploaded. Okay, now um, we're getting into Twitter. We have Andrew Yang's Twitter up here. Okay, so his follower rank, according to uh, Social Blade, is 11,600. And uh, Joe Biden has substantially more followers. So Andrew Yang has uh, six, almost 700,000, 675, 677,000 followers. Joe Biden has uh, 3.6. That actually was kind of surprising that Joe Biden has that many followers. That's a little shocking that he has that many followers. To me, at least. I find that number astonishingly high for Joe Biden. Like, anyways, uh, next we're gonna look down at the uh, 30 days uh, preceded this, and we're gonna look at the total number of followers. Uh, so for Andrew Yang, we've had a total of 150,000, 151,000 uh, new followers over the last 30 days, uh, which is awesome. And in terms of, let's see, tweets. In terms of Joe Biden, we have uh, 50,000. So we've got two, two, two things going on here. Uh, 50,000, 51,000 to 151,000 in terms of the growth in the number of followers on Twitter. Um, that's... Andrew Yang is growing three times faster than Joe Biden on Twitter. That's pretty fucking interesting, and that's substantially faster. Yes, I know Andrew Biden ha or Joe Biden has two hundred or has three point six something million. So it, 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 growth, yeah, I guess you could theoretically say would slow down, but I think that. I don't think that would be the case. I think there's plenty of people on tr Twitter that uh, can, you can grow at a faster rate than 50,000 uh, per 30 days, uh, even at that like level of like 3.6 million likes on the page. So uh, that's kind of interesting. It also, if you look at the number of tweets per month over the past dose years, uh, for Joe Biden, um, over the last two years in April 2019, which was probably when he hired somebody to do his shit for him. Potentially, like, I don't know the dude. Um, but uh, you see that there was virtually, like, no tweets or very, very little tweets. And then now there's an average monthly tweet volume up like this. So it's just a graph going up and to the right. But for, like, two years, there was barely anything out at all. <laughs> And now it's just up and to the right. So clearly something, uh, I feel like that, you know, either he stepped it up or he started hiring somebody. Now, uh, that same metric for Andrew Yang is, it's been, it's been over the last two years, well, year basically. Uh, it's been kind of starting out slowly up, going up, up and up and up and up. And then it got to a peak uh, in uh, two, April and it's kind of like slowed down a little bit and just leveled off, but at a much higher level. Uh, and his level is actually 500. So he's doing actually, uh, on average about 500, 500 plus tweets uh, per month. So 500 in um, uh, August so far, I guess. Uh, 607 in uh, the previous month, July, June, 541. So that's kind of interesting. He's tweeting a lot more than... Um, Joe Biden. So that could contribute to the growth. Also... Um, I mean, $150,000, 150,000 followers in the last uh, 30 days on a base of only 675,000, that's going to grow pretty quickly. Um, so uh, based on that Andrew Yang is growing substantially faster and, and because I think it's a factor in it is the volume of content that gets distributed i think that is actually a factor in um just building awareness the more you fucking tweet or whatever it is that you do um you get more attention 
and the attention yields you whatever the fuck you want. So he's tweeting it like on average over the past uh, almost year on average over a, a, a 500 per month. At one point he got up to a thousand in April of 2019. So uh, that's kind of interesting. So this uh, Twitter battle, this war was won for Andrew Yang for those two reasons. Higher growth rate in uh, followers and in the output of production. That shows more about the work ethic. Or, oh, I don't know, he could easily fuck it. I bet he has somebody hired and tweeting for him, and he's just like, yo, put out more fucking shit. I don't know. I could see him handling it himself, uh, but I have. I, I don't mean to like be come off as so fucking biased that like, he wouldn't have hired somebody too, because like, he probably would. Uh, he probably did hire somebody to help with this, I would expect. Uh, so that round went to uh, Andrew Yang. Now next, this is an epic battlefield all on the internet. We've got Joe Biden's website, and we've got Andrew Yang's website. And we're going to put them up against each other for some key uh, like searches and, and, and the uh, average amount of time they spend on a site. So we're going to look at some of these different statistics and, and then we're going to um, come up with a winner and see who wins this last battle. And then we're going to call the whole shebang of all of these. If you didn't see the first round, make sure you go back and watch that. Okay, so first we are going to start at uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden, uh, let's see here, he currently ranks, this is on a global basis, his website ranks at around the 75,000th um, most popular website in the world. Um, so the average amount of time on the site per visit, uh, it looks like, per day is two minutes on Joe Biden's. Uh, so that's interesting. Um, so now this tells about the audience. So this is, tells about like the type of person who is normally um, going to this website. And for uh, Joe Biden, we're going to get into Andrew in a second. But Joe Biden's got two two areas: uh, somebody who is interested in activism and politics, and some it says news and news. In media and then other uh, and those it says extremely high interest in those things like there's a much higher probability of somebody associated with you know Joe Biden search for his website or whatever or clicking on his website there's a much higher probability that that person also likes politics and activism is what that's saying so you get a kind of understanding of like what that means. Um, now next we've got a ranking of this um, over time. And this is the pre previous 90 days. So um, pre 90 days ago, he was 126,000th, right? So I just said he was 75,000th now. So he's gained in popularity substantially over the last 90 days. However, what you don't see is that he gained like this and then he's been losing over this last period. So uh, from basically uh, July 23rd, I think that might have been around when the debate happened. So maybe he turned a lot of people off during the debate. I don't know. I think the debate might have been on the 16th of July. So it was relatively close. It could have still been building. Um, but since then, he's been dropping, uh, basically just down and to the right. So that is not a good sign for his website there. Uh, and the total number of page views per visit um, are 1.8 on his site. Uh, now, let's go jump over to Andrew Yang's. And his site, uh, just right off the bat, uh, ranks 22,000th. So, uh, in terms of world ranking, this is world ranking, uh, 22,000th. Uh, so that's interesting. So three times more popular in terms of his website versus Joe Biden's. Also, very, very interesting data given the other stuff that we've looked at, right? Like if you compare his sites to all the other sites in the world, uh, Andrew Yang is clearly doing something, saying, or that message that you, you know what I mean? That his, he's connecting with a lot more people because 
his site, right? These are just campaign like donation sites basically where they provide a little bit of information, but they're basically just like propaganda about the candidate and then like donate, like donate, like donate. It's just all over these sites mainly. Uh, and maybe we can dive more into the actual site in a later video. Uh, but the average uh, daily amount of time that somebody spends on the site for Joe Biden, remember, was two minutes. Here, we've got three minutes and 12 seconds. So more than 50% of time. There's more. Fi the, the, the Joe Biden's uh, has increased by over 50% to be where, like, Andrew Yang's is. It would be a slightly better way of saying that. Uh, but there's uh, people just spending more fucking time on there. So, uh, like, it's just more an interesting person or uh, the site, right? And we could go take a look at the site, but that might be an interesting video. If you wanna see that video, let me know down in the com comments, as as in uh, Joe Biden's site versus Andrew Yang's and what the kind of messaging or propaganda is that they're both putting out there. So if you wanna see a video on that, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, that might be an interesting take, and we could do that with each of their socials as well and kind of do a, uh, a rundown in that manner on a very, very subjective basis. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section. Okay, um, now Andrew Yang is, now his graph, when we look at this, his is kind of U-shaped, where three or four days ago when I checked this, um, it was almost just like, you know what I mean? The length of my arm. And then there was like this little bit at the end where it was going uh, like hockey stick up. And then it, since then, it just continued to go up. This is over the last few days. So I would expect this trend to continue, uh, especially based on the like the uh, slope of the line. I mean, I would say that's probably around 40 degree angle up at 35, maybe up into the right, probably 35. Uh, so that's interesting. Um, also, I found something. This is I did look at earlier because I found this super interesting. From so these it says traffic sources. So I wanted to get a touch a little bit on Andrew Yang's strategy here, whether he knows it or not, but it's working. The top traffic sources, meaning the top sites that people come from to Andrew Yang's site. And the number one site where 50% of all the traffic to his site, 50%, think about that, of all that traffic uh, comes from samharris.org. Uh, so plug to him, whoever he is. Anyways, I, I Googled him because I didn't know who the fuck he was. And he is a podcaster. And in, um, I think it was April... Or I think it was June of 2018. You can Google the podcast at Sam Harris and you'll find this shit. But um, they did the podcast in June of 2018. And the thing that I want to touch on from a strategy standpoint is that Joe Biden operates in a manner from my POV, right? Like I don't fucking know the dude. Uh, but from my POV that... The internet is just kind of like a, a thing that needs to be operated. Like when you look at like his YouTube channel just started, like when he announced his candidacy, you know what I mean? And I think his Instagram also just started when he announced his candidacy. So it's like the dude's not really online. And then he's like, oh shit, I'm going to run for president. I should probably do that. Damn. Guess I'm going to hire somebody. Uh, I mean, it's possible he did it himself. It's 100% possible, but, I mean, dudes, I don't know how the fuck old he is. I, no offense, like, I'm not saying he's old. I'm not saying, I have no fucking idea, but I, I would say he's not super young. Um, <laughs> and if he hasn't set it up yet, I, don't, I mean, I don't think he would set it up himself. I mean, it is possible. I don't know the dude, but I just feel like there was somebody hired at that point because the volume of, of, of tweets also drastically in, increased, remember, when we were looking at the tweets. So, I don't know. It made me think that somebody would be hired. Anyways, let's get into the two areas of interest. So, what the fuck is that, Sam? Well, that is the um, likelihood that... So, somebody who goes to Andrew Yang's site is... Um, has a higher probability of 
being related to these two categories I'm about to mention than the average total person on the web. You know what I mean? If there was an average person on the web, this has a much higher likely, like three times more likely that somebody coming from Andrew Yang's website is going to like one of these categories. Now, what are those two categories? Well, the, the overarching like uh, theme for it is news and media for this category, and it's magazines. So I'm not sure what that means, but maybe, uh, uh, I don't know, they search for fucking magazines. I don't know, maybe... I'm guessing they search for magazine or they go to magazine site. Maybe it's, maybe they group like news sites as like magazines. Maybe that's their categorization. And they're thinking like, and I have no idea, but like maybe it's more people go to news sites because like magazines like doesn't make any sense, but I mean like it's digital, you know? So I don't know if they go to magazine sites and read about the news. Is that, if that's what it means? Cause it is news and media, you know what I mean? So it says media. I think that's probably what it is. The next category is finance and economics news. Uh, so that is interesting. Uh, Andrew Yang is coming up for finance and economics. Now, if we jump back over to Joe Biden, he was coming up for politics and activism and other, right? Uh, where the, and this is super, super meta, meta fucking shit right here, right? So in magazines, so think of it as magazines as in news or like what's fucking happening, but like, uh, it's not like how people used to think about like what's happening, you know, where you'd like pick up a magazine. It's not like that anymore. We, we go to the web. So it's kind of like understanding what's going on. Yeah. I would think of that person, right? Or they're interested in uh, more than likely business or like what's happening because they're this category is uh, finance and economics and just news. So uh, that also tells an interesting story. Now, I don't know Joe Biden at all and I have no idea like how old the dude is, right? But uh, he is, I would think, a baby boomer. And so think about, I just this is super by like i don't know a lot of people just based off like the first fucking thought that came into my head so i could be completely fucking wrong but um i feel like people in that age range uh are more interested in politics um uh, which i thought might be interesting um, just the first thought off of my head. And, uh, and then also people who ate to Andrew Yang, Andrew Yang, I think he has a broader, diverser base of supporters or, or interests in him. Um, in, in just the, what's I'm looking at, you know what I mean? What I'm looking at and based on like the finance, cause that hits home to so many people. I work in financial services and, um, I see a lot of people that, are just like living on social security that it's they're getting like 1400 or 1500 bucks a month that's it and these these people are just like you know what i mean they don't have any money they're paying like 800 dollars in fucking rent and they've got 700 bucks until the next payday a month away you know what i mean so it's kind of interesting anyway that was a fucking side note um <laughs> So, uh, what do I want? Oh, we're gonna call the um, the website, and this is definitely Andrew Yang. Completely lost my train of thought there for a second. Um, we're going to call this one for Andrew Yang for a few reasons. First of all, that he is at least three. His site is three times more popular, more than three times. Well, about three times as popular. Three times more popular. The average page views per visit is two point five versus one point eight. So much greater for. Uh, Andrew's site, meaning they visit more pages on the website. And then the average amount of time spent on the website is three minutes and 12 seconds versus two minutes. So this round I gave to Andrew Yang. And now I wanted to go into actually the entire battle here. And um, I think we're going to start with Joe Biden in terms of how many battles he won. And just give a quick recap. Joe Biden won web search he had more of a lead in terms of overall web search in my opinion over the past period of time we started a year and we dove in but i'm going to caveat that with like the little asterisks uh that in in the micro right in the last quarter 90 days 120 days 
uh, Andrew Yang has had substantial growth uh, in, in, the, in the very media Andrew, by, uh, Andrew Yang has greater search volumes. And I'm not sure how that's gonna play out over the next month, couple months, but if you press that subscribe button, I'll let you know. Now, um, you basically know that Andrew Yang won all the other categories. Now, Joe Biden is, if you look at all the polling, Joe Biden's like the fucking dude, right? Like that's who's expected to win, the presidential candidate for Democrats. Joe Biden is expected to win, but when we look at the uh, web search, that's the only place that's telling that data, and that, was, and that data's older too, because this is over 12 months he was winning, and over three months he was winning. Well, like that's where it's kind of start the tide turn. So he's winning there. But when you look at how much search interest is around that person based on like this uh, kurtosisness of the distribution of search data around that, their names, uh, Andrew Yang has much higher search volume around that. Uh, YouTube search, Andrew Yang is just like miles ahead, like on the, even on the 12 month. He's miles ahead. And remember, the psycho psychology of the average person on these platforms is different with each platform. So each one tells a little bit more of a story about what is actually going on here. The next was hashtags. This is hashtags used on Twitter, I believe. And uh, Andrew also won that basically because over time, I think it was eight weeks, Andrew, uh, yeah, A Andrew Yang's um, growth... Uh, in terms of people, other people talking about him or essentially using the hashtag Andrew Yang are, there's more of those over time. His is up and to the right where Joe's was down and to the right. So his is growing and Joe's not. Uh, so that I definitely give to Andrew Yang. On Facebook, there's, I think there was two things. His engagement per, you know, thousand users, thousand likes on the page was substantially higher. Like three or four times more engaged on uh, Andrew Yang's Facebook page versus Joe Biden's. Like substantially. I'll go back and watch the first episode.